these ambush predators can leap 20 feet in a single bound. But leopards prefer to take advantage of the dark. In the daylight, their playing field is fair. Getting close is hard work, sometimes dangerous work. Chakma baboons are fierce fighters, capable of bursts of speed to match the leopard. Both have been clocked at 35 miles per hour. Sentries are posted and scan the area for any further signs of trouble. The leopard can only watch as the baboons forage in the open clearings. As the day dies, fear is given life. Baboons have poor night vision. They're vulnerable on the ground. It's time to think about a safe place to spend the night. The treetops are their refuge. But this safe haven is an illusion. Leopards are designed for climbing. Longer, exceptionally muscular hind limbs provide the major thrust for jumps from narrow branches, while the shorter forelimbs have shoulder blades positioned to the side to provide space for better climbing. Pound for pound, the leopard is the strongest climber of all the big cats. And he prefers to hunt in darkness. It's the time of the leopard now. Leopards have an uncanny ability to move without making a sound. Slow, meticulous placement of his feet edge him closer to the baboon's roost. And when the moon disappears, the baboons are practically blind. Thick pads under the cat's paws act as silencers. The baboons don't have a clue which direction the attack will come from. The leopard launches his attack from the trees in a murderous aerial ballet. In seconds, the safe haven of the canopy is busted wide open. The final leap, a reach with extended claws and a killer bite to the back of the neck, and it's all over. The rest of the troop can do nothing but sound the alarm and retreat to the surrounding trees. Tonight, belongs to the leopard.